so here in this question we have to find the value of x now when a is under square root it means a is raised to the power of 1 upon 2 when it is again under square root it means then a raised to the power 1 upon 2 then again whole raised to the power of 1 upon 2 so that it becomes a raised to the power of 1 upon 4 because when a raised to the power m whole to the power n it is equal to a to the power m times n so we can solve this question using this concept or we can also use the concept where a is under square root to remove the square root we square it so a is raised to the power 1 upon 2 and when we square it it is equal to a raised to the power of 1 upon 2 times 2 so this 2 and this 2 get cancelled so when we square both the side we can remove the square roots one by one and then can find the value of x so let's try method one so this 15 is under this square root so we can write it as 15 to the power 1 upon 2 then times this 15 is under this square root and this square root so it is 15 raised to the power of 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 2 then times the third 15 is under three square roots so it will be 15 raised to the power of 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 2 is equal to 225 raised to the power of x now it is 15 raised to the power of 1 upon 2 times 15 raised to the power of 1 upon 4 times 15 raised to the power of 1 upon 8 is equal to 225 we can write it as 15 raised to the power of 2 then times x now when a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n it is equal to a raised to the power m plus n so here we can add the exponents so 15 raised to the power of 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 8 is equal to 15 raised to the power of 2x now again when a raised to the power of m is equal to a raised to the power of n here a is equal to 15 that means a is not equal to 0 or 1 in this case m is equal to n that means exponents are equal so we can write here 2x is equal to 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 8 or 2x is equal to let's add the fractions here common denominator will be 8 so 4 plus 2 plus 1 or 2x is equal to 7 upon 8 divide both the sides by 2 x is equal to 7 upon 8 16 so this is one way of finding the answer let's try method 2 so first we square both the sides so 15 under square root times 15 under square root times 15 under square root is equal to 225 power x we square both the sides now this square removes this square root so it is now 15 times 15 under square root then times 15 under square root under square root is equal to 225 we can write it as 15 square then times x and then times 2 that is equal to 15 raised to the power of 4x now let's again square both the sides so it will be 15 times 15 under square root times 15 under square root under square root whole square is equal to 15 raised to the power of 4x whole raised to the power of 2 now this will be 15 raised to the power of 2 because when a times b whole raised to the power of m this m is is raised to the power of a also and to the power of b also therefore this power 2 is raised to the power of 15 also and this will be on this square root also so it will remove the square root so it will be 15 then times square root of 15 is equal to 15 raised to the power of 8x again squaring both the sides so it will be 15 to the power 2 times 15 times 15 under square root whole square is equal to 15 to the power 8x whole to the power 2 so this is now 15 to the power 4 times 15 to the power 2 and this removes the square root so it will be times 15 is equal to 15 to the power 8 times 2 is 16x now add the exponents here so 15 raised to the power 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 15 raised to the power of 16x so it is equal to 15 raised to the power of 7 
is equal to 15 raised to the power of 16x again bases are same that means 16x is equal to 7 or x is equal to 7 upon 16 so in both the methods we are getting same answer that means we don't need to verify it which method did you like more let me know in the comment section thanks for watching